A man accused of hitting and killing a four-year-old will be getting out of jail. 21-year-old Andrew Perez is charged with vehicular homicide and reckless driving in a crash that took place in 2014. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live for us at the Broward County Courthouse with details on what happened in court this morning. Joan? On a very stormy Friday afternoon where it's clear skies inside the jail as this defendant is posting bond and getting ready to be released. Morning, Mr. Perez. After turning himself in Thursday night, Andrew Perez went to court Friday asking a judge to release him on bond. Mr. Perez has been fully cooperative um, with law enforcement with, with anything that he's needed to, to do. He stayed here. Um, <clears throat> there is absolutely no flight risk given the, the, you know, the high penalties and the, and the charges before the court. Perez is charged with vehicular homicide and reckless driving in a fatal accident that happened nearly two years ago in Sunrise. I saw the stroller and um, all I could do was just pray from that moment on. Uh, when you see stuff like that, it, it's, it's really hard. Police say Perez was speeding when he lost control, jumped the sidewalk and hit Natalia Aljawani and her two small children. Aljawani's infant son survived, but her four-year-old child was killed. Uh, we've had an expert who looked at it and puts him at 80 to 83 miles an hour. Uh, 45 miles. 45 and you say it was over 80? Correct. His lawyer says speed was more like 70 miles an hour and argued Perez wasn't a flight risk and should be given bond. The judge agreed. Total bond will be $50,000. He'll have pre-trial release level two. He's allowed to work, but he's not allowed to drive. Perez's family and friends who packed the courtroom said the 21-year-old made a mistake. No, not really. Not really much we can say. Just a good kid stuck in a bad situation. Accidents happen. And his lawyer tells me that they expressed deep condolences for the family of that child who died. Meanwhile, there's also a civil lawsuit pending in this fatal accident. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.